Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out quite a major update for Windows 11 24H2, which is still in preview uh, in the release preview channel. And that's because Microsoft is finalizing our next annual feature update um, in release preview before it rolls out to the general public, officially starting around about the end of September, moving into October and November. Now, the update that has rolled out in release preview for Windows 11 24 H2 is KB5040529, which bumps the build up to 26100.1297. Now, just on a side note, a lot of these features have moved from Canary Dev Beta now into release preview, and some of these features have also rolled out already uh, to Windows 11 23 H2, which is the current stable release. So just take note of that when we go through some of these features. Now, what's on a gradual rollout is, first of all, um, obviously gradual rollout means that you might not get these features um, at the get-go. And the lock screen widgets, um, apparently there are now sports traffic and finance content that will appear along with the weather widget um, on the lock screen and we've covered that quite in de detail on the channel so I'm not going to get too much into that. Uh, the start menu, um, the new account manager is now on the start menu and that's also already rolled out um, to the stable version 23H2 of Windows 11 as we have spoken about and you can now also pin apps from the start menu to the taskbar that's just become available with our um, recent update for Windows 11 23H2, which I did post on um, earlier today, and I'll leave that linked down below. So that's also now in 24H2. Uh, emoji, I'm just going to mention this. Um, the update adds support for Emoji 15.1, and Windows supports Unicode symbol-like shapes for family grouping. So the new Emoji are Horizontal and Vertical, Head Shake, Phoenix, Lime, Brown Mushroom, Broken Chain, and so on. And Windows Share has got quite a lot of attention um, from Microsoft. And as you may well know, uh, if you head to a file and you right click on that, you can share that and this little dialog pops up. So basically just to go through these as quick as possible, uh, Windows Share, a couple of new features. The update adds a feature that stops you from accidentally closing the Windows Share window. You can now directly share to specific Microsoft Teams channels and group chats in the Windows Share window. You can now send email to yourself um, from the Windows Share window and you can now copy files from the Windows Share window. Just uh, click the copy, uh, the new copy button. And then Windows Backup, apparently um, Windows Backup has also received one or two improvements where Windows will now back up many of your sound settings that includes your sound scheme. Now take note this only occurs if you turn on remember my preferences and this and select the checkboxes for personalization personalization and other Windows settings. And uh, for this we just head just to show you what that's all about. If we just head over quickly to our settings accounts Windows backup on this page here, if we just head to that, yeah, you'll see, remember my preferences. And as noted, um, this only occurs if you turn on remember my preferences, which is toggled on in my case. So that'll be able to back up some of your sound settings, which I think is a nice move. And then sticking with settings, um, the update adds a new Game Pass recommendation card on the settings homepage, which has already um, rolled out. If you do do a lot of gaming, by the way, it won't appear if you are not doing a lot of gaming. If you are signed in with a Microsoft account and do a lot of gaming, you'll see a new Game Pass recommendation on the settings homepage. And the update also adds a page to settings accounts called linked devices. So once again, heading back, this is also rolled out to the stable version and Settings accounts, linked devices. There we go. That's already made it uh, to 23H2. So as mentioned, there's quite a little bit of overlap to what is rolled out to 23H2, which is now becoming available on 24H2. And the update also adds, sorry, puts the add now button in settings account. I think that's just self-explanatory, so I'm not going to go there. 
And the update includes updated visuals for the rename your PC and change date and time dialogues to match the Windows 11 visuals. So those are, we have already spoken about when they were still in Canary Dev and Beta, which have made their way now to release preview. Now the task manager gets a lot of attention uh, in this update. There are a good couple of improvements and fixes that have rolled out. Um, I'm not going to get into these because we have spoken about it previously, but nonetheless, just bringing that to your attention that there should be a, a good couple of new improvements and stability and performance improvements in 24H2 when it comes to the task manager, which I think is a good thing. So those are the features that are on a gradual rollout. So you may see some of those. You may not in release preview on version 24H2. And then on a normal rollout uh, in release preview, the update adds PC Manager to devices in China. That's already made its way to stable. Um, the widgets icon on the taskbar. Uh, the widgets icons on the taskbar are no longer pixelated or fuzzy. And the update also gives you a larger set of animated icons. That's also made it to 23H2 previously in a previous update. And another new feature on a normal rollout is you can now use OneDrive as a remote app in Azure Virtual Desktop. And the virtual filtering platform, VFP for short, is apparently got a new improvement. So in Windows nodes, VFP has more support for packet drop collection. This will make it easier to troubleshoot issues. And those are the one, two, three new features, sorry, four features that are on a normal rollout. And then we get a couple of uh, bug fixes taking place under the hood. So quite a major update. As mentioned, a lot of those features have moved from um, Canary Dev Beta into Release Preview and some have already made their way into the stable. So Microsoft busy finalizing our next annual feature update in Preview um, with, with KB5040529 and that rolled out to Release Preview on the 25th of July. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.